Hello guys, what's in here again? So, shall we get back to the Wim Techniques video series? Yeah, that's right. So today is the 10th video in the series now. And today's topics, I would like to talk about uh, list charts. And not just that topic, actually it's also related to one of the two things. So in this video, you're gonna get to know three things. First one, list charts. The second one, wrap and the third one list actually we're gonna set and um enable this kind of thing in one of the trees uh option that you normally set the command set in the whim and then you're gonna show it take into effect inside whim so while you're editing the, the files so let's jump right into it to get to know more Okay, so as you can see, I'm using Tmax now. I'm gonna base this thing properly going forward as well. Um, if you're interested to know more about Tmax, I already did this video previously, so check it out on the link on the screen now. And okay, on the right side, as you can see here, this is my Win RC files, as you can see here. And the things that you're gonna focusing on is this line. This, this line is say set list charts in a line and then a certain of the unicode character here is probably indicated that is the enter in a normal sense and space this is space bar it's just a dot and trail is something that um at the end of the line if you enter more space you're going to show this thing and tab and extend and proceed we're gonna see this uh, effect in the real example here um this what is this um option that we can use with set here list charts is that it's gonna make and take into effect when we enable it with this option list so you can you can read more about it the help description here but in short when you editing the, the, the text file on the left side and you enable set uh, enable list like this, it's gonna take what you have configured in the right side. You can see list charts here and use it here as you can see. Okay, so I know that this line there's a four space, so we're gonna use this Unicode character that you set with the space show here. And yeah, and when it's encoded, the new line is going to show is like this, exactly the same as what you have set it. So to make it clear, we also support the Unicode character that be able to set to the one of the option or other options. It uh, your Wim version is had to be at least seven point three, or you can check on your win that um let me, yeah you can check on your win with this and then you try to search for multiple bytes no, multi bytes yeah multi bytes multi bytes oh multi multi something i cannot remember yeah 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 so you have to have this thing multi bytes I mean, it's test indicated by the plus symbol here, so that means that it's supported. And my Wim version is actually actually 8.1. Yeah. So we are fine here. So let's let, let, let's see how how things gonna be. Um okay, I'm gonna turn it off first. We're gonna turn it off with the notice. Okay, I'm gonna add something and as always, no need to worry about the uh, source code that I use at the example here because I use C++ in a daily basis. It actually can maybe Python or JavaScript or anything like that. So no need to worry about it. Just take it at the uh, example. So hello world, boys. I'm gonna try to, as you can see here, um, I disable the wrap right now and the screen is gonna show something like this right all right 
So let's first of all, I'm gonna disable the wrap. You can do it with the set no wrap. Enter. Yeah, yeah, it's already no wrap. So it's happening like this. So if you're gonna enable wrap, so you're gonna set wrap and it's gonna be like this. And let's set it up. Set list is gonna show. It's gonna show that, okay, now you're gonna see the difference now. Uh, this line is preceded, started prefixed with the, the tab but other lines is with the space so you can see that maybe I use different kind of like a setting in when maybe I edit it on the window side that had different setting and then I go back to Linux and I edit it, it again and it had different of the configuration inside the WIMRC file so you're gonna see yeah now this is tab but other is space so unless you you, you, you did not do that, so you're not going to see it. Yeah, so with no list, right? You're going to see by eyes, that oh, actually it's the same as it. But actually, behind the scene, it's not. Yeah. List. List, 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 list. Yeah. And, okay. Let me disable wrap here. So we're going to disable wrap, no wrap. And it's going to be like this. And you're going to see that. Within this line, you're gonna see this symbol. It's like a the greater than symbol, as we have set in with the extends here. Extends, yeah. So when when the line is very really long, that it cannot be covered by uh, your screen. So it's gonna have uh, this symbol, the character, whatever character you have set show here. So whenever you go to the end of the line, and you can see that okay. Actually, there's more on the left side, so there's going to be indicated by this character as well. With the precede, preceded uh, character here, yeah. So, now you know the end of line, you know space, ah, okay. And also, you know tab, you know extend and precede. Now, we got to, we got to know trail. What is trail here? So, let, let me get back to the wrap mode, and I'm going to add a little bit of space maybe one or two so we're gonna add one space and you're gonna see here that okay now it's clearly show a big dot here at the end of the line and this indicated that there's space here so if you do not enable the list mode you do not going to see that that kind of thing unless you like a uh, move the cursor down there and then oh okay I have a additional space that should not be there yeah so you, you might think that why this is so vital or essential to, to check is because when you submit and you checking in, submit your code to upstream and if you be um, not careful enough, you're going to submit the additional, maybe additional space here, something like this. So maybe you submit the line that had different kind of uh, coding standard that might your, your team might might uh sticking with so you have to fix the further on that after you submit the code or the review or things like that so let's reduce those time for the author so you can check it locally before you do that kind of thing right yeah so actually okay when it, I, I save the files and let's see if i uh do it like this Okay, and move up a little bit and then I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to the source file and you're gonna see here yeah, you can see that okay when you do get diff or something like that you're gonna see it okay this is the additional line that we have add but it's not the complete story just yet because the didn't see um should I say you didn't see the the space the tab clearly so what you can do for this, maybe you use get, maybe you perforce or anything like that. It doesn't matter. You can pipe it here with the Wim, Wim read only mode, something like this. R and then hyphen. Hyphen is mean that read it for read the content from the standard uh, input. So this mean this line mean get diff and then output the result here into. Vi in the read only mode 
that with the content from the standard input so yeah it is read from the file and when we enter it we're gonna go into Vim right away and you can from there you can use what the setting you have set with the list car charles here and then enable list mode and you're gonna see here yeah and be careful also that both for the get and also perforce this line they're gonna have prefixed with the one space so you're gonna see here actually we have uh four space here right one two three four here we have five so just one additional that is just add into the things to the alignment purpose or things like that and you can see that this line actually uh, it, it's just nothing it's just an empty line but you can ignore the first additional space here yeah and from here, here from here as well so when we add well no, when the get add additional space it's gonna um, make the tab look a little bit more complicated to interpret yeah but anyway so you can see clearly that there's additional space here and yeah that's kind of thing so you're gonna be much more like a clearer to see what, what what kind of things you deal with pretty much more useful when you deal with the software development in the databases so yeah so the summary is that okay gonna um this down for the summary so you you're gonna have this this type thing it's called list charts and you can set one two three four five six six kind of category of configuration for the character that you're gonna it's gonna show when you enable the list mode inside the win while you're editing this the source file so yeah Whenever you enable the list mode, it's gonna show something like this. This is new line, and this is uh, additional trailing space that should not be there, something like that. And this is tab, and yeah, you you can use whatever Unicode you want to add into it as well. And yeah, that's it. And also, you learn about the wrap mode that enable and disable the wrap mode, right? So yeah that's it for this video thank you